Just in the first six months, the world of K-dramas have given us new seasons of beloved shows such as fantasy fan favorite tale of the nine tales, the moving the good bad mother and the deliciously melodramatic revenge series The Glory. While there's an array of exciting new music releases to come, including the live-action adaptation of Moving and Gyeongseong Creature starring Park Seo Joon, let's take a look back at the 10 best K-dramas of 2023 so far. Agency In this workplace drama, Go Ah In, played by Lee Bo Young, is the first female executive at a big advertising agency. Determined to go even higher at the company, she has the role of CEO in her sights, but has to beat her work rival to get there. A rare drama with no romantic subplots, Agency focuses solely on Ahin's path to success, overcoming childhood trauma to get to the top of her field, but also struggling with work-life balance and the sacrifices and pressures that women face in corporate life. Course in romance. What's better than one romantic storyline in a K-drama? Two romantic storylines, of course. It's basic maths. Crash Course in Romance follows the love story of private maths tutor Choi Chi Yol, played by Yung Kyung Ho, and former athlete turned Bunchan shop owner Nam Heng Seon, Jan Do Yoon, as their paths cross thanks to Heng Seon's daughter Nam Hee Yi, Ro Yoon Seo. Through its many main characters, Crash Course in Romance mixes infallible, classic rom-com elements, intertwined destinies, heart-tugging storylines, enemies to lovers, friends to lovers. Dr. Romantic Season 3 No genre on TV is as saturated as medical soap operas, yet even within an endless ocean of good-looking doctors saving lives and succumbing to love triangles, one show stands above the rest, Dr. Romantic. Now in its third season, this inspiring K-drama chronicles the saga of genius surgeon Master Kim, Ha Sub Kyu, and the unwavering staff at Doldum Hospital, who fight healthcare injustice to treat their sick and wounded patients at all costs love to hate you. The relationship at the center of love to hate you might be contrived, but there's something refreshing about this rom-com. Yo Mi Ran, played by Kim Wok Win, is a lawyer who breaks men's hearts as a way to enact justice, while Nam Kang Ho, Teo Yu, is a top actor who hates women. When Mi Ran gets a job at the firm representing Kang Ho, the pair meet and begin an enemies to lovers trajectory built around a fake relationship. eyes on. Queen Maker Havang Do Hee, Kim Hee A, is the trusted and highly efficient employee of a behemothic South Korean chabol, that is, until real lives are put in harm's way and the company's unethical practices are uncovered. She seeks justice, and a little bit of revenge, by employing human rights lawyer Oh Kyung Sook, Moon So Ri, to expose the reality of politics, shedding light on the evils that can and often infect these spheres, like deep-seated corruption and nepotism. Inspiring. Tale of the Nine-Tailed 1938 Two years ago, when Tale of the Nine-Tailed first hit our television screens, reactions were mixed. Lofty expectations of its incorporation of South Korean mythology and the supernatural were not met, and thus a widespread skepticism about a second season was inevitable. The moment it aired though, we were all delightfully proven wrong. 1938 follows Lee Yoon, Lee Dong Wook, an immortal nine-tailed fox, or Gummy Ho, Tessa. Taxi Driver, Season 2. K-dramas adore revenge narratives, but few do it better than Taxi Driver. The series follows Kim Doo Gi, Lee Sha Hoon, an ex-military man whose mother was murdered. Since he was unable to get vengeance, Doo Gi now works as cabbie for Rainbow a taxi company serving as a front for a group of vigilantes offering a revenge call service. Really gives. The Glory Part 2 Why do the poor believe in things like poetic justice and karma? Former high school tormentor Park Yoon Jin, played by Lim Ji Yoon, says during The Glory Part 2. It's a line that almost cements her fate while highlighting the class hierarchy at the center of the gripping drama, with the determinedly ruthless Moon Dong Yoon, Song Hai Kyo, 
focused on putting her long harbored plans for revenge into motion. Bad mother. When a life altering accident rewards her son Choi Kang Ho, Lee Do Hyun, the seven years of age mentally, Jin Young Soon, veteran actress Ra Mi Ran, gets a new chance at motherhood. To repent for their estrangement, she sets out to undo the trauma she had unwittingly put her son through, and in turn takes us on a journey that is as heartbreaking as it is human. There you have it, our 10 best K-dramas of 2023. These dramas are a roller coaster of emotions, suspense, and unexpected twists that will leave you wanting more. Which one are you most excited to watch or re-watch? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more K-Drama insights, recommendations, and exciting content. Thank you for joining me today, and until next time, keep enjoying those heart-pounding stories.